folks uh, mean well. Get a close up. Now this one here I reviewed the purchase of about three years ago. I've got four of these. This is a TN 1500 and it is a special model that comes with a solar con solar charger built into the back of it down here. Let's see if you get a focus on that. It shows solar input, three 10 amp lines. And internally, it has three little fuses in some of them, and some of them it has one 30 amp fuse. Here is the, uh, here's the scenario right here. There's the plug, and it has three little 14 gauge wires that'll handle that. And what I did with mine, is, is I just put a 30 amp fuse in line and that way I was able to uh, swap out the fuse if it blew the fuse from outside of the unit. Now this one here you can hear that turbine here be getting up there. you can hear that turbine up there kicking like crazy that is gray matter she's been running for a very long time with a Thermodyne PMA completely faultless with my special tail design so I'm not gonna let you see that but it has a very special furling design on her that not a soul in the world's built. All right, back to the track here. What I've got here is I've opened the, I'm getting the case open. Now this was inside my work machine, my work trailer. And you can probably tell it's pretty dirty in there and it's been in there with sawdust and you name it for three years. So I just took out the four screws. They're on the top four corners here and you can take this cover off. I want you to take a look. Now you want to talk about a hell of a quality inverter. I want you to look in there. That is one hell of a quality of an inverter. Look how dirty. And it pulls enough to run a 5500 BTU air conditioner and a computer and some other stuff in that little trailer. I've got job trailer. Um, this thing here, look at the quality of the components in this big beast. Now it's not small. I want to show you here. Here's a can of duster here, so you can see it's not small. It's quite large. It weighs about 20 pounds. Now, this thing has never been cleaned, never been cleaned out. So I brought it in the house, took it apart, and I figured I would do this part here. It's never been cleaned in its whole life, so so it's it's filthy inside. A little sawdust, a lot of crap that's in them. Now, if you don't do this with your inverters from time to time, you will burn them up. So, as you can see this one here, I done had a, had a small can with not much in it. And now let's get another can here. And you gotta keep them cool. That dust will allow heat to build up. And the heat build up can cause them to die. Now, I want you to look at Meanwell. You see these extremely nice, expensive quality capacitors, extremely nice, expensive relays. You pay good money for a Meanwell for a very, very big reason, and even they even have a circuit down here that cleans up your voltage. Uh, very nice, nice, nice unit. And um, just showing you after three years of this unit being installed, of constant use, I mean, I even have a little freezer in there that runs the whole time the trailer's sitting up underneath the shop building. And uh, it just goes to show you the quality of certain products. Now, Meanwell uh, is what you're going to find in the big, expensive, super, you know, three, four hundred thousand dollar motorhomes, yachts, boats, stuff like that. But this unit was only about five hundred bucks, and it's true sine wave. You can see that by the big torad. It's very, very. It's got multiple torads in it, um, and it uses a multiple strand transformers in it. So giving you an idea what the mean wells are all about they are huge man I mean you know you see that it comes with GFCI it comes with solar solar charge comes with solar charge right here AC charge and it'll switch back and forth so I can have it plugged in right down here and it has about a 5 or 10 amp battery charger in it and now that my, my trailer to be honest only has six big batteries in it but it has 800 watts of solar on the roof. And when this has to kick on and use, it, it doesn't, uh, it's, it's efficiency levels upwards of 90%. But just giving you an idea, here's the opened up mean well. I don't know if you've ever seen one. Uh, most time people don't have to open a mean well because well, they don't, they don't quit. <laughs> they don't blow out. So 
This is the Meanwell TN series. They also have a 3000, multiple voltages from 12 to 48, and you could even special order, I think, one that's higher voltage than that, like 96. And um, just four screws, opens them up nice and clean, doesn't interfere with anything. Um, all your cooling systems are not, they're isolated, they're not part of the frame, and they get very good ducted air. That fan back there is a very expensive brand of a fan, um, and it is a, let's see here if I can get the name of that, it is a Delta Electronics fan, which is what they use in some of the higher end computers. So, and it's, and it's quiet, this thing practically makes no noise when the fan runs at all. So, hope that helps you guys out if you're trying to choose a really good true sine wave inverter with multiple functions. Very bulletproof and three years dirty. That's get, make sure you clean your inverters, guys, even if you have to take them apart and blow them out. Or, and be careful about blowing directly into your fans because you will strip out the bearings. All right, y'all got it. Be good.